A special thanks to Paired for sponsoring today's video. Paired is an amazing app that works as your guide to improve communication, stay connected, and deepen intimacy as a couple. On the app, partners pair with each other on their individual phones and answer daily fun questions and quizzes to learn more about each other. You can also listen to tips on how to build healthy relationship habits from experts. Now we really love this app. We think Paired is a fun and easy way to take care of our relationship and we love answering the fun quizzes and questions it offers. Now I love how you can answer amazing questions like what do you remember about the first time you met or describe your partner's job in four words. Guys, there's so many cool games on there as well as quizzes, which we really, really love. So one of the questions I answered was what I enjoyed about being married. I said it meant I could spend the rest of my life with my best friend. And guess what guys, Travis also answered and we had similar answers, which was so cool. Now this has helped our relationship and we continue to grow closer and stronger. All right guys, so we really love this app mm -hmm. and we've really learned a lot about each other. We have. Yeah. It's actually interesting because like most of the answers were actually like very synonymous with each yeah. other. And some were not, but like a lot were. So it's really cool. Yeah. You know, it really makes you dig deep to actually really think about your partner. I know. Which is not a bad thing. No. <laughs> All right, guys, so we love this app and we know you will too. So click the link down in the description below to get 25% off Paired Premium so you can maintain and deepen your connection with your partner. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tori. It's your boy, Travis. And today, guys, it is a beautiful day. The sun is shining, which is great. We are going to be answering some questions about pregnancy this it's, is it's real y'all this is what baby baby number, number two. two this is baby number two guys <laughs> i don't know how to feel about it honestly <laughs> i'm excited i'm happy but it's just like whew, we gotta we, you know i gotta get it together i will say guys i may talk a little bit kind of on the weird side because i have my retainer in as you guys know i have to wear my retainer like 20 what three hours out of the day think, yeah 23 hours yeah so basically Crazy. all day, unless I, you know, when I'm eating. So I apologize if I talk a little weird, um, but we're gonna be answering some questions that you guys gave us. Now, you guys gave us a lot of questions, so I'm only gonna answer about, what, you're gonna answer only about 10, I yeah, guess? Yeah, probably like 10 questions or so. So um, y'all, you got us. It's it's like, we're in home mode today, as you can tell. <laughs> we're like, we're chilling. So you got us in a very casual video. We we are just, it's chill mode today. So that's how we I know, doing. no makeup. I'm just, I'm just, I'm being real natural. And just, you're, you're, you're so beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah, see, that's the nice thing about you. Is you you, you know, like my little librarian look? Yeah. I'm trying see, to. Yeah, see, you don't, you don't really need makeup. That, that, that's what I love about you. It's like, you don't need like a really? lot of makeup. No. Well, thank I, you. I like it. Are you just telling me that? No. I, <laughs> I always tell you that. I know you do. That's true. Okay, so the first question is, how nervous are you guys this time around with the upcoming baby? Do you have any fears? I will say, you want to start or you want me to? You go ahead. So, uh, the question, what was the question? <laughs> no, okay. uh, how nervous, okay, how nervous. Okay, I'm actually really nervous um, just because, just because it's baby number two and I've already been there, done that. Obviously with, with you guys don't know, we have a two year old named Winter. Um, and so, yes, I, you know, this is not, we're not new to this. Um, we're true to this. No. <laughs> um, what we we're have, true to the game, that's all. We, we have a two year old, so I've been through, you know, been through this, this process before and it doesn't, Jeez. I feel like it doesn't matter how many times you go through it. I feel like it's, it's still like, a, it's still a brand new thing each time because each pregnancy brings something different. I, I still feel a little bit nervous, just mainly about the, uh, delivery process. Like that part I'm nervous about um, and the process of just getting pregnant. As you guys know, I had a miscarriage before this child. And so the, the fears I had about this particular child in my, in, in my stomach right now was that sh she wouldn't go to term, mm -hmm. that I would lose it before, mm -hmm. you know, before a certain we, amount of time. We had a chance to even announce it. Right. Much, yeah. So now that I feel like, okay, the baby's healthy, everything's going well, my, my fears are slowly going away, mm -hmm. but that was still a fear I had. For me, there is the fear of going into labor and having the baby because anything can happen at that point. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I remember whenever you were going in, you know, you had to have the emergency C-section and it was like, I was just, I was really nervous. All right. So the next question is, 
Oh, how hard is it, how hard is it to make love being pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an interesting question. Um, <laughs> it's pretty hard. I think it's it's harder than it seems. I will say that. Uh, keeping this on the PG side, um, it's not as easy as a lot of people make it out to be. It's very hard, and I think it's because a lot of times. Um, you just can't do what you used to do. That's what she'll say. She'll say, "Well, I'm just not the old, you know. Like, I, I'm not. I'm not how I am before you met me. Yeah, <laughs> or, I said, or when, look, I, when you first met me. Being pregnant, it's it's a lot harder because it's almost like you're kind of like not off balance, but like it's you get tired really fast, really easily, and um, so it's like you, the stamina it's just gone. I'm just like. Ooh, like I feel like it's a workout literally just like sometimes it's just a workout so, to even just get up from this couch and walk to the restroom So just imagine you want to ask me about how it is in the bedroom So so you're not so what you're saying is you're not the spring chicken you used to be Yes, it gets the job done, <laughs> but it gets it done very Carefully and it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's, it's nine months. We, we get past we, we get there But all, I mean in all reality too that this pregnancy has been a little harder just because mm -hmm. she's been feeling sick so much You know what I mean? So that's yeah. like and and now I think you're on, you know, six months and you're starting to get more fatigued a lot more often too. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's starting to wear, like, <laughs> she's getting, she gets worn out quickly, you know what I mean? I do. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but you were satisfied, right? Right? <laughs> no, absolutely. So okay. I, <laughs> That's all that matters. But yeah. it, like, but I will just kind of skip through this question really quickly. Just keep it, keep it PG, but it's, it's a lot harder than you think it is. And um, <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just say that. But but I say we still we obviously still have a very very um, I, what's the word? We have active. a very active. There, there you go. go. We have a very active love life, mm -hmm. and so pregnancy has not changed that. It's just kind of like during the process, it's very slow. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs> okay, so are you happy that the baby is a girl? Um, I will say I I am happy that the baby is a girl. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted a boy. I thought this was going to be a boy inside mm -hmm. my stomach um, because we already have a girl. And so I was I won't say I was like disappointed. I don't want to say that word because that's that's like I don't like future child be watching this video. <laughs> I don't want you to be like, oh my mom and dad were disappointed. No, I wasn't disappointed. I was just kind of like, oh, okay, because I was so sure that it was a boy and then I was also really sure that it was a girl. So when it came when it when we found out that it was a girl, I was just like, oh okay, like interesting. You know? And now I feel like we still need to get our boy. So I wanna keep having more children until I get the boy. Now, obviously within reason, okay, <laughs> but I like I still want a boy, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But I'm, I am super happy about the girl as well because our, our daughter Winter will have a, like a bestie, like a sister mm -hmm. that she can go up with and be friends with and love and do things together. Mm -hmm. And you know, kind of like me and my sister, we're very close. And so um, I changed kind of my perception on that. Like instead of being disappointed, I was like, okay, this is actually gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And for me, so I was just, I was excited just just to have another child. So I didn't care if it was a boy or girl. Yeah. I'm very curious to see, you know, what type of boy, you know, we create because mm -hmm. we know we create a beautiful little daughter, you know what I mean, with yeah. winter. So we're thinking we're pretty much going to duplicate that, you know, mm -hmm. we hope. But um, I'm still very curious to see, you know, what a boy looks like, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I really want a boy. As you guys know, I have, or you may or may not know, I have a son from a previous marriage. But you know, we would really like a boy together. But yeah. we're very happy it's a girl. We're thankful. We're mm -hmm. thankful, you know, now that you know she's six months pregnant now. Yeah. You know, we're excited that we're getting closer to create that, you know, sister for winter. So. Mm -hmm. You know, I do want to say this really quickly because I got a comment, and you know how I was saying um, that I want to have ten children. A lot, a lot of you guys know that I say that all the time that I want to have ten children. <laughs> now she says that. No, I I do say that, but I. I mean it in terms of that's how far I would ever go in terms of having children. That would be my cutoff. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly what we're going to do, you know, because someone in the comment section put, and this is a real comment, and I'm going to try to my best to paraphrase it, but someone put, um, 
you shouldn't be saying you want to have 10 children because you're not even going to be able to afford it and Travis is going to have to something they were saying I don't know they're like they're like basically you can't afford 10 kids and you know Travis would be would have to like you could afford them but I couldn't that makes sense in other words I someone did, put I did, something I, I did and I I was just like what so guys okay so I want to have 10 children because I can afford 10 children they're they were basically yeah. trying to say in other words I'm know? wanting 10 children but uh, ultimately it's, it's, you're it's gonna, gonna be, be the one me, who puts like, the bill that's what they were trying to say that's and I was just like not. what I was like guys first of all first let's just bring it back and I and I know you you know they say don't ask you all the what do you call the trolls or, in the comment section but I just want to make this clear you know I do say that all the time that I want to have 10 children okay I'm slightly being funny I'm slightly being serious I could have 10 children and be just fine in life because that's if that's what I desire, that's what I desire. But if, but I'm not saying that I'm going to have 10 children. <laughs> so, and I can tell you this, okay? And this is all I'm gonna say about it. I can afford to have 10 children, okay? We can afford to have 10 children. So, so I just wanna clear that up because I feel like that was kind of a dig at me mm -hmm. that they were trying to do. And it's okay, I get what you guys were going with that. But I'm just saying that I wouldn't say it if I couldn't do it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it, it is. <laughs> and no, long. Travis is not my sugar daddy. Yeah, Craig. It isn't only. It, 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 it's a team effort here. Yes. So we both make money. This isn't. Yes. Travis, you know, pays for everything. That that is not the case at all. You yes. know what I mean? So you know, we we but we're a team. We bring in money together. It's not you know, Tori makes money or Travis makes money and Tori makes. Yes. No, no, no. We we are a team. So yes. we work together. Yes. We're one. This is not. We're not a divided household. Right. You know what I mean. So exactly. if you know, we, we do it. Everything we do together. So yes. I'm not the only one that makes money. Tori makes plenty of money. Yes. It's not just me that has a business. She has other ways that she makes money, yes. and it's very good. So yeah, we can afford ten kids. You're not my sugar daddy. <laughs> can you can you tell them what uh, once and for all that you're not my sugar daddy? Okay. Because someone said that before too. So I just want to address that because I won't ever address that again. When I saw that comment, it kind of made me That's laugh, fine. but at the same time, it made me go what like well you know i mean people are gonna think what they think so you know, know. it's okay y'all can have opinions but we're just gonna address and say that ain't true <laughs> no. you know and we try not to you know get into too much of the the craziness but um i guess it's something we feel like we need to address if we have a boy on kid number three then i'm then i'm good i'm done okay so the next question is do you think winter will be jealous of the new baby mm. You know, it's really hard to tell what kids are gonna do or how they're gonna react, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I think, I don't think so because we already right now tell her that she's gonna be a big sister and she had a sister coming yeah. and that there's a baby in there. Mm -hmm. And we see, you know, she's got dolls and you know, she's got little strollers that she pushes her dolls in uh -huh. and she feeds them, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you know, and we'll even like take the baby and kind of just like, oh, the baby. And she doesn't come up and try and rip it out of her hands or anything yeah. like that. So. I don't think, personally, I don't think that she's going to be jealous. I think she's going to be excited. Uh -huh. It's going to be a learning curve for her because she doesn't understand mm -hmm. what a brother or sister is. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I feel like we are preparing her and I think she understands that there is a baby coming. And I think she's going to be helpful. I think she's going to be the helpful sister. Yeah, I. you know what, to honestly... To, to answer this very honestly, I think she will. Mm -hmm. I think she will be a little bit jealous at first because all kids are when they're not the center of attention mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. So I do think about 50% of me thinks that, yeah, of course she's going to be jealous. But I don't think, I don't even think like, I, I don't know, like, I guess um, the word is really not jealous. I guess it's more envious, I guess is the word. But I think she will a little bit at first because all the tension is obviously going to go to the new baby when the new baby is born because I'll be spending a lot more time with the new baby. Mm -hmm. um, and Winter loves attention. She really does. Winter loves attention and you know, that's okay. That's what kids, you know, she's two. Of course she loves attention. And so we'll see how it happens, like how it really plays out. But my guess is that at first she's going to be like, uh, mama, excuse me, I'm here. Hello, who over is, here. Who, is this, who is this new baby that's taking over? Um, because, you know, I've actually held, um, I've held other babies in Winter's presence. Mm -hmm. And she's been kind of like, excuse me, mom, over here, me, what are you doing with this other kid? So I feel like when another kid actually comes into our home mm -hmm. permanently, mm -hmm. 
I think she's gonna start feeling a little like this much, kind of like it's needing just, the attention yeah. that she did she be in, that she has always gotten. But see, you know, you know, there is two of us, so you know what I mean. There's always me. <laughs> that you know, if, if you're taking care of the baby, yeah. you know, nursing it, whatever. There's that always, is true. Yeah, there's always me that can entertain winter and make sure that you know she still feels love yeah. and stuff like that. Um, okay, so. Okay, here we go. Rules for, do we have any rules for family and friends after the baby is born? Yes, same same rules we've always had. Let me tell you real quick. Mm -hmm. So when you come over, take your shoes off, wash your hands, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, no smoking around the baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And pretty much just like, those are the three things. You have to be clean. You yeah. can't be, you know, obviously under any kind of influence or anything like mm -hmm. that. You know, we're not saying anybody of our family or friends is like that, but you know, just the yeah. basics, like just come, being, you know, just be clean. Mm -hmm. You know, when you do come over, you gotta take your shoes off because we have little babies that run across the floor. Yeah. What else? That's the one thing that that I'm really big on. You gotta take your shoes off yeah. when you come to our house and wash your hands. And uh, you know what? I actually have a pet peeve right now while being pregnant. Right now, you know what I really dislike? Mm -hmm. From me? No, no, no. Just in general, from oh. people. I really dislike when people come up to my belly and touch it mm -hmm. and and rub it. Oh my goodness! Oh, you're, let me see the. Oh, can I touch your stomach? Why does that bother me? So I don't know why that bothers me, but I I really hate when people want to touch my stomach while pregnant. And I know that sounds crazy, and you probably you guys are probably like, well, they're just being nice and everything. I just don't touch my stomach. Well, well, I just well, don't. I just don't. It's like, what is the reasoning behind it? Yeah, but why? see, you don't like people touching you in general. If you don't know them, <laughs> you don't like people touching you. I don't, but let alone my baby. <laughs> like, I just don't like it when people come up and rub my belly. I just, I just feel like, I, see, I I wouldn't do that. Like, I would not walk up to someone and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, you're was, pregnant, mm -hmm. you know, G congratulations. I just wouldn't do it. So I'm just like, why do people feel like they can come up to your belly and rub it? I don't know if it's like a good luck thing. No, or, and I'm talking it, or about or strangers, like a, guys. Yeah, if it's like in, a nice gesture. Like, if I'm in the mall or somewhere and like people coming up and touching my belly, like strangers. Well, people also do that to like our daughter too. They'll come up and they'll say, oh, she's so cute. Like, we don't even oh. know these people. And they'll like touch her face oh. or touch her arm. Yes. And she's always like, I, I get really upset about it because yeah. first of all, I don't know where your hands have been. I don't. Did you just go to the bathroom? Did you wash your hands? Exactly. Like, were you just doing push ups in the parking lot and you got like, <laughs> you know, asphalt yes. all over your hand? Yes. Like, who knows? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not, that's not even me being like a clean freak or, or being I OCD or anything. It's just like, I mean, it's it. just basic etiquette. Like I would never come up to someone's belly and rub it. I would never just randomly touch someone's child in the face. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't even trust my own hands unless I wa knew I washed them and all that. So definitely when friends and family are over with the new baby, we're going to have a lot of rules in place because we just want to keep the baby healthy, mm -hmm. keep the baby ha happy because I always say this. The people leave and the people are gone. And you know what? We're stuck with a sick child. We're, we're up all night. <laughs> we're up all night with the sick child. And we're at the doctor's office with the sick child. And then guess what? The people who have done all this stuff, they're, they're, they're about their day. <laughs> so, yeah. so I always say that. And, and you know, luckily with Winter, our two-year-old, luckily when she was a baby, a lot of the people respected that. You know, a lot of our, our friends, families, and you know, things like that, they respected the rules and, and they were great about it. They would come and wash yeah. your hands and everything, but that's just basic, you know, that's just basic common sense. And so we don't have a problem with that. And we think that this with this baby, we won't have a problem either. Um, I will say, I am curious to see like how this baby is gonna be different from Winter when she was little. Uh, Winter was a happy baby. Winter is still a happy child. Um, she didn't really cry I, that much. She didn't cry that yeah. much. She did keep me up all night. I never, ever, ever got sleep with Winter, ever. Okay, I was up all night long, literally. And I say shout out to the mothers who, um, you know, work full time or worked full time or part time or whatever and had a child because, I mean, children keep you up all night. And I'm a, you know, I'm a stay at home mom. And so I feel like, oh my gosh, like just imagine if I had to go to work in the morning. Yeah. So shout out to mothers. Yeah, because like, I mean, there's ultimately it. like, you know, women that, that have babies and have to go back to work in yeah. two months. Yeah, two Or whatever months. it is. But this child yeah. is still crying. Yeah, yeah, he's still getting up in the middle of the night. Still, you know what I mean? Still needs to be fed, yeah. diaper change, sick. I mean, 
hospital visits. I mean, yeah, everything happens. I mean, everything happens. And then you still have to get up in the morning and go to work. And it's like, shout out to just, I mean, and, and, and yes, all moms kill it, obviously. I'm a stay-at-home mom. We all kill it. We all are amazing. But I mean, shout out to moms who literally stay up all night and then still have to go to work in the morning. I, like that I is mean, amazing. I don't, it, it's, it's just, I give you guys all your flowers because it's so amazing. Just the thought of it. It's just like, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. I mean, I, I that, that's definitely something that's built in the DNA of a woman Yeah. because like a man <laughs> like can't just pump out, you know, eight or nine pounds from wherever it comes from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like where would it come out of a guy and then like, stay up all night and you know yeah. feed the baby and do everything y'all moms have to do mm -hmm. and then go to work the next day like yeah we just are not built like that so like y'all like god built y'all differently because like yeah. us guys we just want to say <laughs> from all the men out there like y'all like y'all are built differently and it's just amazing well shout out to the i want to correct myself shout out to the stay-at-home moms and the stay-at-home dads mm -hmm. and the working moms and the working dads because I feel like everybody needs their love and yeah. their flowers. So. Exactly. But see, the good thing is we don't have to actually have the baby. So that's... That, well, there you go. That is that is the one thing that we will never have to experience. Yeah. Someone wants to know, do you plan on having a C-section or a vaginal birth? Um, I, I don't know, guys. And it's really weird because I've talked to my doctor about this and... So far, we've discussed the C-section because I've already had a C-section. And so it's just a lot easier to have another one because um, they just basically open you right back up and take the baby and it's like, okay, you it's plan still, it. But you... it's still a major thing, you know what I mean? Like opening you up is like, yeah. oh man, that's such a major surgery. Yeah, I don't know what which one I'm gonna go for. I, I probably will go for the C-section, but like I would like to see how it would be to like, have an actual vaginal birth mm -hmm. um, and experience that part of it because mm -hmm. I've not experienced that before. So as of right now, I'm planning the C-section, but like if she comes vaginally, that would be great too. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. So, I don't know yet. so, so what you're saying is you're, so if she comes, like if your water breaks or something like that, you're going to try and push her out instead of like immediately going to like a C-section pretty much, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I want to experience it vaginally i mean you know having a, a baby vaginally but like i said if it's if the doctor recommends a c-section and she thinks that's the best way to go at it then that's the way mm -hmm. we're gonna go but i mean i'm open to both and i prefer like this time around i prefer to have it vaginally but we, we shall see i, I don't so. know yeah. I, I just want to experience that push you know push 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 you don't experience that with a c-section yeah. um you know, so I would just like to experience that this time. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because well, last pregnancy or your first pregnancy, it was like you were, you were trying to do vaginally and like they had to manually break the water and they yeah. were trying to induce you and they were trying to like, you know, it was, they were just trying to do everything. And then eventually like her body just like started like breaking down and she started getting really cold and shivering. And they said, look, we got to go, you know what I mean? Like pretty much emergency C-section because she labored for so long trying to, mm -hmm. trying to get this baby out, you know, or trying to get her baby out naturally. Yeah. So, yeah, this time around, I would like to do a a vaginal birth. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. So the next question says, "Do you feel less excited mm -hmm. now that it's your second child?" Um, uh, no, I don't feel less excited because I feel like a whole new child is going to bring about a whole new experience, and so I'm actually more excited because I'm excited to see how this child is going to be like compared to winter and how mm -hmm. winter was. So I'm actually more excited this time around. Yeah, I would agree because you know what I mean? Now we have like, <laughs> you know, I was excited for winter, mm -hmm. but now like I'm just, you know, just I'm almost, yeah, I'm more excited because I want to see what the child is going to look like, how they're going to act, you know <laughs> what I mean? And just to see winter just create that relationship as a sis as mm -hmm. sisters, you know what I mean? So I'm excited just for them to grow up as sisters. So yeah. I'm definitely more excited for this child. Oh, let me show you guys the baby. Ooh. Let me let me lift up this shirt of mine here. Here's a little, ooh, here's a little butt. Is it sticking out? You know, it is. Okay, so here's the belly or the bump, I the should bump. say. Yeah, because um, it's no longer your belly, it's a bump. I know. This it's is so bump. crazy. <laughs> so here is the belly. Hold on, wait. I it is I, like a bowling ball. I didn't get to kiss it. Oh my goodness. Well, let me not get it too low now. Let me pull it up. Yeah, so get they it together now. So I don't want y'all to see. I don't want y'all to see something that you you were gonna regret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little too much for y'all to handle. I know. But I'm six months pregnant. I'm super excited. 
um, a little nausea here and there, but I'm, I'm kind of dealing with the fact that it's going to be that way for the rest of pregnancy. All right, guys. So thanks so much for tuning into this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We cannot wait for a baby to, I can't even say the name because we don't have it quite yet. We will be telling you guys the name very soon, but right now we're calling the baby Baby G, baby G which stands for just a baby girl. Baby girl. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, even if you didn't like this video, still like and subscribe because you just might like the next one. Always remember, wherever you go, there you are. So what? So make the best out of it, guys. <laughs> so make the best out of it. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.